Oh! Hi everyone, and welcome to TWF Impact, I mean TWF Explosion. I am Jonathan Coachman, here with Ashley Williams and with Madison Rain. And today on Explosion, we're going to see a man who was in a TWF a long time ago. I would say somewhere between 1900 and 95 while up till 19 between 97 while or so he is, he was a GI Joe doll that had no wear on Oh, I know where you're going with this, Ashley Williams says. I know where you're going with this, Ashley Williams says. But I wasn't here during that time when a when someone by the name of Killer was going around choke slamming folks, you know, s squeeze slamming folks through the ring. And I understand he had to wear on. Uh, Madison Rain says, and he broke the ring once when he threw King when he choke slammed King Kong Bundy through it. Madison Rain said, yeah, that was a long time ago, Ashley Williams said. Yeah, Jonathan Coachman said, a long time ago before any of us came to the Toy Wrestling Federation. He is killer. All right. So the way I look at it, killer goes, I want someone to fight. And, ah, oh, can't stand in the ring. I want someone to fight. And you know, at least I got pants on, so I'm not fully unweared, or unclothed, or whatever you want to call it, from my first time in a TWF. Well, Sami Zayn said, I must tell you, we don't really got a big work for, 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 you know, jerks like you. All right, for, for creeps like you. Ah! So the way I look at it, I heard a long time ago that TWF went through rings. And I heard one time Sami Zayn said that you were one of the folks that broke one of their rings back in the day. Am I hearing right? Yep, took King Kong Bundy, the big LJN doll, not the Jack Pacific one, and threw him for the ring one day and cracked it up. Yeah, it was a WCW ring, but you know, Killer, he just had to, uh, he just had, to, you know, to uh, do shit like that. Yeah, it's true, Killer said, I did do that. And if you don't fuck with me, I'll throw you for the ring. And you should be lucky that your TWF Pennsylvania Reich winnings aren't on the line because you got to beat Katana again. Well, I don't got time for this. Get back here. Oh! And Jonathan Coachman says, Killer just took down Sami Zayn. Yeah, well, we saw Killer do that to many wrestlers back in the day, Ashley Williams says. Well, that's not Sami Zayn. He shouldn't be doing that to Sami Zayn, Madison Rain said. Shame on Killer. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. Oh! And Sami Zayn just, Guru just kicked, Karuba kicked down Killer. So a fucked up G.I. Joe doll just beat me. Well, I don't think so. I'm the Pennsylvania Reich winner. I don't play that way. Fuck you. So what do you think about Killer making his comeback to the TWF, Jonathan Coachman says, and beating Sami Zayn here on Explosion. What do you think about that? Or blow up. What do I think about that, Ashley Williams says? Everyone would be happy to see Killer again. Everyone except Sami Zayn, who was the first man that Killer had actually beat since his long, since he was, since the last time he was in a TWF. 
And that was many years ago that Sami Zayn was in the TWF. You know? Uh, Ashley Williams said, Well, I'll tell you one thing right now, Madison Rain said. Good thing Sami Zayn's Pennsylvania Ripe winnings was not on the line. Because if it was, he would have lost it to some creep G.I. Joe doll named Killer who back in the day had no wear on, no clothes on at all. Shameful, Madison Rain said. Well, Jonathan Coachman said it was good to see Killer back in the TWF again and picking right back up where he left off all those years ago. But not so good for Sami Zayn, who was the first one to kill her feet here on Explosion or Blow Up. Well, that's all the time we got here for TWF Explosion or Blow Up. I'm Jonathan Coachman for Ashley Williams and Madison Rain. We hope you like Explosion, and we'll see you tomorrow.